This is Miss Rossi here to tell you about your moon observation journal. Every day for one month, you will be making observations of the moon's appearance. Observing things is a very important scientific skill and this year you will be developing that skill specifically with this assignment. So you will look through your window or go outside if conditions are safe to see what the moon looks like and draw in the moon's appearance for that day. So you can pay attention to the rise and the set times. So these are written for Elgin and halfway between these times, the moon will be high in the sky. So at times it may be difficult to make your observation due to the conditions It might be too foggy or a little difficult to see the moon due to clouds. But sometimes if you wait a little while, the conditions may change. When I came out about 10 minutes ago, it was cloudy and hard to see the moon. But after a little bit, the clouds went away and you could see the moon in a very clear sky right above me. So I'm going to draw my observation. So I can look up and see what the moon looks like. And then I can shade in the part of the moon that does not appear to be illuminated today. And I will repeat this every day. The moon's rise and set times change every day. It's about 8 a.m. and there's the moon. So you'll need to pay attention to when is the best time today to do your homework. Are you getting up early, looking out your window a little bit later in the day? Because you also wanna pay attention to where the moon rises and falls. So I can't see the moon rise from my bedroom window. I can only see it when it's about here in the sky from my house or as it starts to set. So For this observation journal, really all you need is a pencil, the journal, and your eyes. Having a clipboard really helps so that way you have a steady surface and you don't lose it. Other tech tools are available, such as an app for your smartphone, binoculars, and a telescope. You can use a simple telescope to help you with some simple nighttime or daytime moon observations. If you have a pair of binoculars in your house, this is a great opportunity to use them. So the trick with binoculars is to find the object you want to see in the sky, look at it, then raise your binoculars to them, and then you will see the object. Pretty cool, huh? About an hour and a half later, I can see the moon through my window. Remember, you can make your observations from inside the house too.